Now let's see do the tenth question. Then here they tell um, Amira drives forty kilometer to work. Huh? That means that journey is forty kilometer. Now they tell Amira takes x minutes to drive the first thirty kilometer of the journey. Right? That means uh, now forty kilometer is the full complete journey, but thirty kilometer of that mm, she uh, take uh, x minutes to complete. Now then they ask show that the her average speed in the uh, kilometers per hour for the first 30 kilometer of the journey is this, right? This is the speed, average speed. You need to uh, show it. So normally we know uh, speed mean distance over time. So distance is 30 kilometer, not 40, because they tell this uh, x minute represent uh, x minute taken uh, to cover only 30 kilometers now, and they ask also. Uh, speed of the first 30 kilometer so that's why uh, now here distance we need to think has 30 and time uh, time is x minutes but they ask it is in a uh, kilometer per hour now so we need to convert x minute to hour uh, then we can apply to our formula so uh, think like this now if you have a uh, 60 minute convert to hour uh, that means 60 divided by 60 then you can get one hour like that now huh? if you have 120 minutes mm, to convert to hour 120 divided by 60 then you have you will have two hours huh? 180 minutes convert by 60 three hours huh? it's like that so any number of minutes doesn't matter you have to divide by 60 then you can convert to hours so like that mm, x mm, divide by 60 uh, then you will have hours now this much time it stay right so that's why uh, she take to cover 30 kilometers so now we let's write speed equal distance over time now so here distance is 30 kilometer right 30 kilometer time is in, let's see right in uh, hour so x divided by 60 that's the idea now now here again I can write this one at the 30 divide by uh, x over 60 no right so that means we can write here we can think as a fraction now if you divide fraction by fraction we do what the division sign we change to multiplication and we get the reciprocal so here answer will be for the here also one no so 30 into 60 it will become uh, 100 and uh, 1800 1 into x x so this is the answer right like that we can show it now you don't need to write this much work in if you write just but the 30 or upon uh, again x upon 6 like this hmm, this will enough huh? then you can write directly this answer now let's see consider the next part huh? here come uh, you have to read this whole question uh, completely and then try to understand here they tell Amira's average speed in kilometer per hour for the final uh, 10 kilometer that means earlier they discussed no th plus 30 kilometer uh, plus 30 kilometer average speed also we know now this is the average speed per plus uh, 30 kilometer then they tell the final 10 kilometer uh, 10 kilometer left no uh, because total journey is uh, complete journey is 40 kilometer uh, we discussed earlier 30 kilometers now next ah uh, last uh, 10 kilometer average is speed is this, this much right 600 over x minus 25 this is the average speed of the last 10 kilometer right now they tell here line this is very important but the, her average speed for the final uh, first 30 kilometer of the journey is 8 kilometer per hour slower than her average speed for the first 10 uh, uh, final uh, 10 kilometer uh, that means first 30 kilometer speed is uh, less th less than the uh, last 10 kilometer speed now last 10 kilometer speed is this much first 30 kilometer speed is this much average speed of the first 30 kilometer this much last 10 kilometer is this much now they tell for the first 30 kilometer speed is less than the uh, 8 kilometer per hour is less than plus uh, 10 kilometer speed that means basic idea this is eight uh, this is less than this how much less than 
8 kilometers per hour less that means this is basic idea this is also speed this is also speed huh? this is also uh, kilometer per hour speed this is also now kilometers per hour so don't need to worry with the unit here somehow now they tell this is 8 kilometer per hour same thing kilometers per hour this is less than this how much less than 8 kilometers less so that's why we can now they tell to make a equation no uh, they tell form an equation uh, uh, like this so that means we have to make something equal no to make a equation so that means if we have to make this two speed equal so how to make equal right now they tell this is 8 kilometer per hour less no this is the less one so that's why we should add 8 to this one right so that means we need to write here what the 1800 over x no? this is plus 8 then you can make equal to this one right what the 600 over x minus 25 try to get here idea because some are at this 80 kilometer or this one because this is the higher one so that's why like that they think that it's wrong normally consider normally try to understand like uh, like this now we if you need to make this kind of equation we have to make something equal so which what is the equal here now this is speed they tell 8 kilometer less than this so that why that's why if you need to make this two equal you had to add 8 kilometer uh, uh, is per hour that much to this one then this both will be equal huh? both the speed will be equal so that's the thing i did here now this is the speed of first 30 kilometer it is 8 kilometer less so we add 8 to this huh? then will be equal to the uh, last 10 kilometer speed huh? this is the last 10 kilometer speed now now this both equal now we need to make this see this thing to uh, like this kind of format so let's see try to do that here what i will do i will make here uh, now uh, we uh, actually here we can't apply uh, it's little difficult to apply cross multiplication because here we have fraction and again other num another term no so let's see make here only one term uh, this side i will try to make one term here also now uh, we have uh, has a fraction normally if you need to apply cross multiplication must be equal sign and this side also fraction he also has a one single fraction so that's why here try to make single fraction now here we can think one and we need to make same denominator so i will multiply here x and uh, this one by x and this also by x then here you will have 1800 over x he also 8x over x and here 600 over x minus 25 and now we have same base so we can write x here and here will be 1800 plus 8x and here 600 x minus 25 now we can apply apply the cross, cross multiplication because why here we have single fraction here also single fraction now we can apply cross multiplication so here will be 1800 plus 8 takes I will put bracket because we multiply two this both terms we need to multiply by another uh, two terms uh, both uh, these two terms now here uh, uh, so I will multiply here I will put here also bracket x minus 25 this multiply by this here both are uh, we can call has binomial expression this is a two thing this is a two thing so when you multiply this two thing we need to write bracket now this one multiply by this then here will be x into 600 here don't need to put bracket you can write 600 x x into 600 no right now here like binomial expression you know need to know here how to multiply right by 1800 we multiply this both and then by 8 x we multiply this both right mm. now okay mm. uh, if i yeah i will show you even that part now here you don't need to this here meaning is 1800 i am not multiply here i show i try to show how to multiply 1800 i multiply by this both huh? x 25 huh? by 1800 i will multiply this both then again i need to multiply by 8x i need to multiply this x minus 25 how uh, here i huh? not multiply it here i need to show you how to multiply it. by this i need to multiply this both then by 8x again i need to multiply this both and here will be 600x now let's see multiply this 
here 1800 into x it will be 1800 x 1825 it will be right um 1800 into minus 25 it will become uh, minus 45000 right 45000 um, then uh, we have to multiply by 8x this both right so here will be 8x into x it will be plus hmm, this, this plus this also plus so 8x square then 8x into minus 25 it will be minus hmm, right 200x right 8x into minus 25 then here is still 600x now very simple bring this also this side and try to simplify here 1800x minus 200x you can do it in even mine so it will be 1600 and when you bring this also here it will be minus 600 so uh, here will be just 1000 1000 x and here will be plus 8x i will write that here 8x square then here we will have uh, 45000 right that's the answer here zero now what we need to do this all divide by 8 right this one also divide by 8 this one because we need to make to uh, this format no our uh, they asked in this format so when you divide here this all by 8 and here will be just x square here will be 125 x and here when you divide it will be uh, 5625 and here 0 so this is the answer now keep mind here i show you more working right here don't need to write now this line also don't need right uh, here don't need this one huh? like that some step you can skip here right mm. and you can do that right but here i need to uh, you know i need to make this is can understand for anyone huh? so that's why i make some step and more huh? try to explain more right now in part c they tell us to slow this equation right so normally this is a quadratic equation no so we can use quadratic formula right so i will use that hmm? right if i write it first hmm? uh, x equal minus b plus or minus uh, b square minus uh, 4ac over 2a right now i need to write minus b mean uh, this value you know uh, what are the value with x so it will be plus 125 so i can write just uh, plus uh, without plus sign so that means minus 125 then plus or minus here b square mean again 125 uh, square and then minus uh, 4 into a mean uh, value with x square so here will be 1 into c mean this value right so it will be again minus 500 and, oh, sorry 5625 right and complete over 2 into 1 right uh, uh, then after we you can apply this whole part to calculate uh, get the value so here will be 100 uh, uh, minus 125 plus or minus and then uh, you will get here uh, after you apply this whole thing to calculator you can apply this whole thing to calculator then here you will have a final answer uh, sorry uh, after I uh, get if you apply this whole thing into calculator your answer will be 195 point right uh, two five six two four two right then over 2 right now we will have two answers here uh, x value and y value so then you can write x equal uh, uh, i can write this one for the x equal minus 125 plus 195 point this this value 256242 over 2 or other one i will just write then uh, you know uh, x equal minus 125 minus one th uh, 195 point this thing right uh, so 
here right then over to now then you can write directly answer you don't need to write this everything right you can round off so here answer will be uh, if you round off this both answers your final answer will be 35.1 o x equal uh, minus 160.160.1 but here x represent what the time uh, x represent time uh, they tell no uh, x mean uh, what the time taken she uh, traveled to first 30 kilometer so that's why uh, time can't be minus uh, negative so it should be 35.1 so our answer will be hmm, you uh, here but you need to write here but the answer will be here they give no both answers to write space so you need to write 35.1 here and other one minus 160.1 and keep mind but x represent time so it should be this value right for the x last part uh, they tell what the, it takes amira 35 minutes less to drive the final 10 kilometer than it takes for the first 30 kilometers right now in first 30 kilometer time uh, what the time she take that is the this answer so from these two answer like i told you you need to get this one uh, because time can't be uh, negative so this is the time she take to travel first 30 kilometer now they here tell again uh, what the time she take to complete last 10 kilometer so that's why uh, they tell it is 25 minutes less than the uh, time she time take for first 30 kilometer now first, th uh, first 30 kilometer she took uh, this much time 35 uh, 35 actually I will, I will write here uh, the whole answer uh, when when you hear these are round of no so I will write here complete answer uh, she uh, took to complete plus 30 kilometer uh, 35.12 right 8121 this much time she took to complete complete plus 30 kilometer now they tell to complete next 10 kilometer she took 25 less than this uh, then we can find very easily what the time she took to complete last 10 kilometer from this subtract 25 because uh, if you subtract uh, here you can get the time she took to complete to, to complete uh, last 10 kilometer so here answer will be 10 point again uh, very simple no to subtract here so i will not try this is the time she took to complete to complete last 10 kilometer right now we can find the uh, they tell calculate amira average speed in kilometers per hour for the whole journey right so very simple now we know time taken to last 10 kilometer this much uh, for the um, first 30 kilometer this much so you can find for the total time she uh, took to complete this whole journey so we should add this one plus this one because that the total time this is for the uh, first 30 kilometer and they tell 25 less than that get, get to next 10 kilometer that means this much now let's we add these two together right uh, 35 it is good to uh, use always this whole figure to calculate uh, not the round of figure right now let's we add these two together now we can find what the total time she took to complete this journey so it will be here 45 right mm, i will add here by here also we can add here doesn't matter 2 uh, 4 2 here 16 1 come to here so it will be 5 here and here 2 right this much time took to complete the journey now we know time now we know complete journey uh, distance also now we can find the average speed but the same way speed equal distance over time so here distance will be 40 kilometer now problem is here this is minute now we need to convert this into again hour so like i told you earlier this minute we need to divide by 60 that mean here time taken to complete her journey uh, in hour it will be again this value 200 
like this way this is divide by 60 that the time she took to complete whole journey in hour uh, this is in minute no? now this is in hour so here when you apply to this formula speed equal distance over time distance is kilometer right we uh, use this one uh, kilometer per hour no? so this is the uh, distance in kilometer now this is in hour so we need to uh, this divide by this this is the time taken in hour so here will be 45 uh, uh, 2 5 6 4, 2 4 2 divide 60 now this is if you apply to calculator you can get the final answer so here also you can follow this way if you have confused here 40 divide by uh, this one right 45 uh, and uh, 2 5 6 2 4 2 over 60 now again here will be 40 here uh, uh, 60 and here this one 45 uh, 2 5 6 2 4 2 like that kind of then uh, 14 to 60 multiply by that and divide by this right I, I I'm showing this uh, everything because uh, uh, like like I told you uh, anyone can understand it so when you apply this into calculator you can get directly answer here it will be uh, 53 point uh, uh, zero right 53 point zero you can get has final answer right it will be 53 point right uh, checking after you round off it will be 53.0